hitting the linoleum floor like a ticking clock on overdrive, repeating I can't go out, I can't go out, while all dressed up I'd frown and question what are you on about? You'd say they think you're a crazy bitch just like your mum, I'd reassure you they didn't but still you wouldn't come. I'd argue with you but it would be an endless battle then I'd get you to finally sit down and would apologise in unison and I'd say it's okay. I'd let our friends know we wouldn't be able to go. I'd tell you they understood, not mention how they moaned, how it was directed at you. Instead I'd cradle you in my arms as you'd rock yourself and cry again and again how you'd apologise. So others want to ask me how I had faith in you. Because I was sure you were going to come through. I'd say it's the mindless that say you're doomed, you're stronger than the others, this is just testing you. Flash, flicker, neon letters speak out, the next station is Edgware Road. But she's a person. She's got a face and eyes and skin and a heart and a head and a smile. I dream, remember the touch, the smell of her hair, the touch of her body always warmer than my own and the way our eyes would meet and it would feel like home. She's got a face and eyes and skin, a heart and a head and a smile. She's got a head but her brain betrays her. Her mind is a minefield and I never know when the next explosion will be. But I said I was willing to learn the patterns, be her anchor, her hot air balloon, fly with her like kites in the wind. She said she felt like a puppet. Strings, endless strings. With the apron strings or violins, she's got to cut, cut, cut. I still want her close to me, physically. We've already got the metaphors. I want her in the city, pressed up against me on the tube. We look to Ross and Rachel for affirmation. <laughs> Not realising they're just a modern fairy tale. Still hoping for that happy ever after. But don't you know you can never predict disaster? At the beginning of time, we were one. A moon-made cartwheel with four legs, four arms, and a face like a tragic comedy mask moulded into a monster through divine eyes, split with a stroke of light. So now laughter exists as a distant echo, in search of half a human, damned by this desire, a hollow cry through a tunnel with no light. But you were my light. Flash, flicker, the neon letters speak out, the next station is Farrington. So she left me. I left the city, left the maze of tube trains. I was holding in onto her hand in a reverie, only to realise it was cold, plastic, hanging onto this yellow pole so I don't fall. She left me, left the city, left the earth. Yesterday, all my travels seemed so far away. Yesterday I spoke to her about my day, but she was already gone. I sat watching Friends on E4, the last one, you know, where they get back together. <coughs> Eating one of those two-for-one <coughs> Indian ready meals we used to get, amazed at how delicious they were, not cheap tasting at all. <laughs> the second one still in the fridge, I remember how we'd lay together, our bellies full, her body encasing mine. I tried to read her face in the reflection on the television screen. I was happiest in those times in her arms. And now I'm hoping for a heaven where we can meet a space where mind and body make no sense, just souls are waiting. Flash, flicker, neon letters speak out, the next station is Liverpool Street. I hope for a day I will be reunited with my mate, a, a sky of stars where we make our own constellation. I stare into the dark abyss, searching for messages in the starlight. You said,